Hi there. <laughs> My name is Leonard Paul, and I'm the audio director for uh, Eco, and I've been working with Strange Loop Games off and on since uh, working with Vessel, and that was a title I think back almost 10-ish uh, years ago or so. So yeah, it's uh, it's one of those things that uh, is nice to be part of. The Eco game is uh, really a game that is uh, trying to balance the you know the ecological side of things with the economy. And so I've really tried to do that with um, the audio as well. So um, I started about a year ago, um, and really what we've been doing is rebuilding things uh, because the game has gotten, like, really huge. <laughs> so the uh, audio needs to support that, and the original way that we were doing it was not really scalable within Unity. So... I've been doing uh, sound design stuff, you know, recording. Um, I've been doing, uh, basically got uh, help to do some music stuff to add new music into the game. And so what I'll do is I'll go through some videos and show you how that uh, is put together. So once again, my name is Leonard Paul and thanks for joining the stream. And here we go with some videos and I'll just be sort of pausing those from time to time. So uh, to sort of chime in for more comments. So here we go. What we'll do is we'll start with the loading screen that we've just recently added to, uh, you know, point nine. So here we go. And hopefully the audio from the video is working okay. Yeah, so say those two examples there were um, basically me going out and recording things out in uh, nature. So the first one was in Colombia. I was lucky enough to get down there and that was like a big wide open space. And then I live in Vancouver, Canada. So I did the second one using my H6 recorder and uh, recording a stream that was, you know, nice and quiet and stuff. And so the cool thing is that I can basically capture those sounds. It's almost like taking a picture, but you know, in an audio sense. And then I take that and edit it and then I put it into the game. And so we'll look at sort of a little bit of the details how I do that. But uh, that's just a general introduction there. And here's uh, some recordings from Cuba that I put in the title screen, the new loading screen. All right, so with that, we saw that um, that was basically like an audio loop that I had recorded from working, uh, like being, trying to do my work, my audio work, but then like listening to a whole bunch of uh, construction noise near me because in Canada and Vancouver here, we've got a lot of, um, I guess, people that want to, you know, utilize their $1.5 million properties and stuff like that and make huge, you know, homes on them. And so there's a lot of construction. So I recorded that. It was like a cement truck. That was the, the recording of it idling. And then what I could do there is down here in a program called WISE. This is a program that uh, is actually uh, developed in Canada and it's used in a lot of larger games. And it allows me to have like great control over the way that the audio works uh, within the game. And so it allows me to take the vehicle speed that I can uh, you know, use to modulate the pitch and other parameters that are to basically like simulate the sound of a truck. And so like in the initial video uh, for the loading screen as we have it now, um, I needed to have that synced. So I needed to sort of have the background audio, which is sort of, you know, the stuff that doesn't change, but then there's like the dynamic stuff that's changed like in the foreground. So let's uh, continue here see how it gets put into Unity. So this is Unity, all right? And there you can see there's my audio, um, basically ways of tagging the audio in the game. And this is once again using WISE, so it's by Audio Kinetic. And um, here I look down and I'm using events and switches to basically define what the, um, <laughs> what, how I'm going to connect the audio to the dynamic you know, like the code and all that kind of stuff that happens. 
And so with this, I went ahead to pause it here because um, I have the background audio playing, but then like when the loading screen audio was first done, there was an issue where um, the truck was like right underneath the camera. So it's just like, you know, there's the camera and then here's the truck and it was just like idling there at the beginning. And then halfway through it would start up. And so you can imagine what that would sound like. So it was just like super loud. I mean, it made sense visually. So Keegan, the artist, you know, he did awesome work on this. It was super inspiring to work with his, uh, you know, his animations and all the graphics that he put into it and just the composition and stuff. And so, but the thing is that like sometimes with audio, you have to change things. So what I did there is asked him if I could like, it, would it be possible just to pull the, <laughs> pull the camera back or sorry, pull the, the truck back a little bit from the camera so that it's not so loud. So yeah, it, uh, that made it sound like it would sort of be more like in uh, actual real life. Cause what happens is that audio is not just what's in front of you, it's what's behind you and all around you as well. So with uh, so many things happening like in eco, to create the soundscape is actually pretty complex. So I'm just showing you a little bit of things what I do as a, sort of an audio director slash, you know, like audio implementer to make it so that the sound works well inside of the game and responds to uh, the animations and all that kind of stuff and the, all the dynamic stuff that happens with the game. Okay, and then, oh my goodness, here's some code. So I'll just uh, sort of pause here. And with this, um, I uh, do coding. I have a degree in computer science, and so I'm able to do it. But we also have an amazing uh, programmer that works with me, Mike. And so what he does typically is that I'll um, either define what's gonna happen for the interactive side things, like, just in words, but then sometimes similar to like doing like a concept art, what I'll do is I'll actually sketch up some, you know, like code like this. And so the code here is what I used for when we needed to synchronize the velocity of the way that the trucks, because they're actually dynamic objects that move in the loading screen, how the trucks move and how they will uh, send parameters uh, to the audio so that it uh, dynamically changes the audio. So yeah, I, I do that a fair amount where I basically send them stuff. It's sort of like a, kind of a really rough draft. I just sort of throw it over the fence and then Mike takes it all up and he's a great programmer. So he just takes that and then makes it all, you know, whatever, like basically he's like an editor that way. He cuts out all the stuff that's just garbage and, you know, makes sure that it works well in the game. And yeah, he's done a lot of just structural stuff to get things working like, you know, we had to change a lot of things about the way that audio was working for the way it was being triggered in the server just even up until last week. So a lot of our work has just been like bug fixing and getting things into the game because it is a really big game. All right, I'll continue here. So here it is in game. And uh, hopefully you can hear that. It's fairly quiet and it's meant to be kind of like that, more meditative as you're starting the game. So there's the truck. And listen to it as it comes past you and listen to the other truck as well. All right, so, okay. Um, what I'm gonna show here is some work that I did where I recorded an excavator. So once again, <laughs> it's, it seems we're on a construction theme here. And what I did is recorded almost a day's worth of like uh, different audio perspectives from the excavator so that I could get the different sounds to make it so that it would really come alive in the game. All right. So clanks, you know, and here it is in Wise. And this is, we need to break things apart into like loops and make those samples trigger at the right time. And this is it in game. Watch out, turtle! Ah! Oh, damn. I'm sure the turtle's okay. All right. So this section here is a bit more meditative. It's how uh, we basically put the audio and all the hooks together. Ah, hooks. 
Uh, see, uh, thinking fast. All the hooks together for the audio so that the fishing would sound more realistic. So with this one, yeah, like listen to how the uh, bob goes into the water, how the fish sounds different when it's in or out of the water, and also the reel as well, and how all those things combine together to create sort of the composite sound. So the, uh, and also the way that the bob, th this took a little bit of time to get that so that the bob, when it moves around, the little red and white dually bobber, when it moves around on the top of the water, it also makes a sound as well. So I'll try to be more quiet during this point so that hopefully you can hear it. Um, clearly over the stream. Woohoo! And you know, we're still working on the game. That's the reason why the fish is floating in the air. Um, here is a new thing that has just been added. So this is where there's a synchronization between the way that the research or well, the crafting tables work. In this case, tried it out with the research table first, haven't added it to the other ones. But the idea is that the uh, sort of the animation that's happening with the table will be reflected in audio. And with this, the audio doesn't distinctly, you know, like repeat in a loop. And I could have done that, but more so what it does is uh, triggers. So it'll be like, okay, this is when the arm of the research table, like, you know, uh, magnifying glass moves. And yes, it is squeaky, thank for the, uh, the comment. I, I am working on um, getting the sounds to get placed in the game uh, so that it sounds more naturalistic. So what happens is that a lot of these sounds initially are close recorded, so they do have a lot of high frequency content. And then what happens uh, as I tune things and mix things is that I make it so that they sound better like uh, in place in the game so that it sounds more natural and then the high frequencies will roll off and whatnot. So um, those kind of things because this uh, I wanted to show some new stuff is that this has just been added so of course there's going to be some sort of rough edges and stuff like that so yeah it's uh, that's how it gets done and so the idea is that over time we'll figure out how to make these things sound interesting you know not annoying but then also to help inform you as a player so that you're like oh yeah yeah my research table is still working that's fine it's like doing its thing but if you walk away from it then it's just like you know it probably almost all the audio will drop out because you know you don't necessarily need to hear like 10 whatever crafting tables all working at the same time right so it's it's this is a work in progress this is the uh, schematic as it looks in wise and you can see there's a lot of details in here to make sure that we get all the sounds that we need for the game all these little you know like uh, event things up here are little tags that uh, tell the audio when it can fire something so yeah so yeah here you go and so yep yeah, we got a little squeaks and yes it you know and there is a uh, wind as well from the game because you know you're that's the sort of the background sound there's like you know birds moving around and stuff so the idea is to make it sound a little bit more tactile right Okay, yep, and here we are with uh, doing some design for the steam truck. So once again, like the excavator took a lot of time not only to record the sounds, but then also to figure out how to dynamically modulate those sounds to try to simulate the sound of a excavator. And in this case, the steam truck is a tricky one. And it's once again, still being worked on. Uh, and what I did for this is I built up base layers from an electric trolley. And the reason for that is that they have um, there's just you know the 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 noise that you get from it it's a little bit more focused than if you're working with a diesel engine so then you can add other sounds over top so yeah it's meant to give an idea of hearing a you know like a vehicle that is um you know of a, an older time and then right now yeah once again it's like i'm tuning the sounds to make it sound more uh you know playable and all that kind of stuff and those things simply you know take time so 
Uh, let's have a listen here. So that's me with my uh, recording gear. So it changes with the vehicle speed. Watch out, turtle. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. So with that one, I basically sort of uh, faked, you know, whatever the steam sounds by adding other steam layers. And yes, I've heard it's, uh, you know, I'll try to figure out how to make it sound a little bit more naturalistic. There's also like a squeaking when you move and uh, yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> the, uh, it is definitely the best part of the day to like, yeah, go outside and record sounds. Um, that is pretty awesome. I mean, I don't mind being inside like I am right now. Um, and sort of, it's sort of a two-step process. And also what I like with working on Eco is that the team is great. So yeah, working with Mike the Coder, uh, I work with John uh, Keegan and others to really collaborate and bring the, the overall uh, design and vision for the game together. So, but yeah, getting out and recording like uh, that, uh, like electric trolley was great. Um, they don't have that anymore. So sometimes when you capture sounds, you actually capture sounds of things that are lost, sort of similar to taking photos of things that just, you know, don't exist anymore. So yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting, um, you know, I don't know, it's an interesting thing. A lot of sound designers for games actually don't have the time. So they just take stuff from that other people have pre-recorded and use that. I tend to try and get my own stuff and then try and fit it. So yeah, like say for, you know, steam trucks to actually go out or, you know, and record them is pretty difficult. So, you know, it's a it's a process and you can't necessarily take, you know, like recordings from either, you know, like YouTube or whatever. I mean, it's very unlikely that there'll be a steam truck recording, you know, library. But you can kind of uh, get somewhere close and you want to basically capture the feel of what that vehicle is like. And that process is very difficult. So, yeah, it just takes a lot of time. It's trying to it's similar to trying to get like gameplay balance working right. It just takes time. And, you know, it's also very subjective. So everybody's got uh, different ways of doing it. So this is just a start. So got to start somewhere. And so here's uh, some of the tools as they were recorded uh, when I was working in Reaper. That's my uh, DAW, my uh, digital audio workstation of choice. Uh, I find that I basically edit the sounds there and then most of the sounds are currently, um, you know, not, I haven't worked on them a lot. I wanted to keep them as close to the original as possible, but over time they will get sort of more massaged as we have time to do passes with that. So a lot of this stuff I've recorded in my basement. And uh, so like, you know, the soil dump, I got, you know, a bucket of soil and like dumped it. And it's funny because sometimes, you know, with every different sound, you realize like, it's actually kind of hard to capture that sound. Sometimes it's, you know, it, there is things that are more difficult than you would think off the top. All right. So that's me with my uh, hammer and some rock. And here it is in the game. All right. And so, okay. And so with that, we were trying to figure out how to, um, with the tools here, I'm just gonna rewind back to that so that it, the sort of the topic stays correct. With that, um, working with Mike, it's taken a lot of time to get the physics interactions because um, there is just so many, difficult issues with getting, you know, all these like, you know, filtering through all the parameters from the game, 
and how the different things interact and also just things where you wouldn't necessarily think of like if you're not working like directly with the game is that currently an interesting issue and for players out there i don't know if you've heard this but like at the start of the level when you load it up what i get from the game is that basically all those little bits and pieces that are you know like the rocks that are broken up the physics engine basically takes those and just goes like bunk you know and it actually sort of like there is in a sense like uh a bit of noise in the system like it's a little bit of inaccuracy and it and it sends all these messages right at the start and so those kind of things are uh, issues where you have to figure out how do I avoid those kind of like spurious things like you know technically they're kind of like you know noise not necessarily audio noise but basically signals you know of that are coming from the game that you don't really want and so to, how do you filter those out but then get the actual physics events that you want so a lot of time is spent on that. And then there's difficult things like when two stones like slide against each other. And within Unity, we don't necessarily get those messages. So trying to figure out how to simulate and make it so that there's um, like what uh, we've done is to make it so that the rocks, when they're like bigger, they make like a little bit of a lower tone. And if they're smaller, they make a different tone. And then also, of course, as they roll away from you, the tone changes and whatnot. So yeah, we're balancing out um, how to get it so that the, it looks correct and whatnot. And also, like I said, it's, it's also tricky when you're working with the server because there are so many blocks <laughs> you know, that are, where, you know, like if you're a miner or whatnot, and then it's just like, how, how do you balance that sort of soundscape out? You know, where somebody's close to it and doing a lot of work, or maybe you have a whole work party that's like totally like digging this massive thing together. And like in real life, it would actually sound pretty loud and annoying. But within Eco, the balance is to try to make it so that, yes, you understand that you're in there doing mining and that's your activity, but you don't really want it to be annoying. So how do you like, you know, balance those two concerns? And it just comes out in the mix over time. Yeah, in the mix, right? But uh, yeah, here is an example of where uh, I used a, a different program to sort of simulate the sound of wind, uh, a wind turbine. So it's basically using like mathematics to simulate a little whooshy sound. So yeah, it's kind of fun. I've used this program a lot. There it is in game. Right. And it is being triggered by the events from the animation of the turbine. So it's supposed to be in sync. So it sort of gives you a better feeling like you're actually there. And once again, how do you balance the sound out if you've got like a wind turbine farm? It's going to be sort of annoying. So, of course, the main thing that we'll be doing is figuring out like, okay, usually when you're like, you know, whatever, a uh, small distance away, you'll be able to hear the sound louder. But as you move away from it, the sound will actually, for those particular things that are repetitive, will drop off faster. Or the high frequencies will fall off faster than they would in that, in like in nature, right? Because... For people that live next to like a wind turbine farm, it, yeah, it can be kind of annoying in real life. So we want to yeah, balance that out. And yeah, I thought it was kind of cool to just show you that uh, sounds can also be made versus, you know, using mathematics, not just recording real sounds. And here we go with the music. Doo -ba -doo. Bink. I'll just let this play out. So we listen to it. I'm moving the faders around as though, you know, it'll change the mix in game in response to the game.
So there we go. And uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll show you that this is from Phil Elani, and here is his website, his awesome rad website. Bink. Okay, and if we scroll down here, there he is. And so he's the composer for the new music in the game. I'll probably be adding a little bit of my own. And then there, of course, is the existing great music that we're continuing to use as well. And what we wanted to do with the new music is, like you could see there, that we wanted to split it up into different layers. All right, and... Uh, so uh, Phil has been great composing it. And then uh, what I've been doing is spending a lot of time on figuring out uh, how it'll dynamically respond to the game. And uh, that will, I'm just gonna put this back up here just for a reference. Okay, all right, there we go. And so with this, um, what the approach is, is very similar to the game Vessel, and I like the way that the dynamic music was done there. And here, the four different levels, uh, that they're like layers that play at the same time, they're kind of like, you know, they're sort of like tracks, but they're like tracks of instruments that have been added, you know, together and sort of, you know, sandwiched into more logical layers. So the bed track here is the green layer at the top. And then we've got the industry, uh, sorry, the guitar layer, which um, really th that one is usually it's I call that the harmony layer, and that's the guitar, and he's you know he's a guitarist, he does great work there. And then there's the melody layer, which is sort of the stuff at the top. That's like the you know that's like single melody. It's sort of like a more singable part of the song, whereas the harmony is kind of like more of the background, kind of like when you play you know if you're. Uh, playing guitar, that's sort of the guitar part. And then the percussion is, well, that's the percussion, it's the drums and stuff like that. So depending on what's going on with the game, you know, like we're planning to have this, in this case, this song is for industry. So this song would play later on in the development of the game as you're, you know, having really more of an industrial impact on the world. And we could basically fade different layers in and out so that it gives a nice underscoring to what's happening, either if you create work parties or maybe if you, um, you know, you level up, you have a new skill or something, that the music could dynamically respond. And this is all like in the works. Um, the music will not be super dynamic with the most, you know, <clears throat> like the 0.9 release, but we're, you know, it's it's just simply a deep topic that's going to take us a while to figure out and to and to really uh, integrate properly with the game. So yeah, that's uh, the music side of things, and I guess what I'll do is um, I'll I'll take some questions. How's that? Um, I'm going to bring up. Here's, uh, so I showed you Phil's website, and then here's my gorgeous website. Um, okay, so this is me. And um, yeah, I'll just do that for a bit. In case you wanna know more about me, there's there's my whatever background, okay. And so I've been, yeah, doing video game audio since like 1994. I started out on the, um, well, it's sort of debatable. I guess it's like the Sega Genesis, and uh, but also the SNES as well. All right, so yeah, if you got any questions, uh, just let me know. And uh, if you want to go to my website, uh, videogameaudio.com, and then of course, let's bring up uh, the eco site here. All right, and that way I am not just slamming my own information instead of, uh, you know, basically making this about the game, which is really what it is, okay? So I'm going to leave that in the background. I hope it's not too distracting. It's kind of a weird, let's see here. Okay, I'm not really sure how the scaling works on that. Anyways, there you go. That's uh, Play Eco. And uh, yeah. All right, so let's have a look at some of the questions and comments. I'm going to scroll back up here, do, 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 way back up to the top. And yes, the, the industrial music does sound a little bit tropical. Um, and it's, um, we're, <laughs> that's another thing is to try and figure out exactly the best placement of the songs, because 
what we wanted first is we wanted great songs and then beyond that it's kind of like where can those songs like fit in the game and how can we best integrate that with uh, the rest of the songs that already exist and a lot of the songs that exist were a little bit more mellow so say with that one we wanted things to be a little bit more upbeat and to to sort of in a sense have like a more daytime feel whereas a lot of the existing songs uh, sort of in the point eight version are more uh, sort of like nighttime sounds just as or songs as far as the vibe uh, yeah, great to hear that you're reading the blogs. That's the way to keep on top of things. And also make sure to join Discord as well. So uh, there should be a link on the main... I mean, I put it in the chat as well. So you can just have a look and click on there. If you're not already part of the Discord, definitely join us. It's a fun community. Uh, hello, uh, Jake and other people. Um, yes, and apologies for the beginning. Uh, that's partly because I just, you know, whatever. I didn't want things to go 100% well because it's always good to have like a little bit of, uh, you know, this is live, <laughs> right? So yeah, thanks for helping out on that and letting me know that it uh, sounded good after a while. Okay, cool. All right, and there we go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, it's true. I'm, you know, there is definitely, uh, it's good to have feedback on the way that the audio is. There are like thousands of sounds in the game. So what what has happened with point nine is that we've just added so much new stuff. And to have everything sound good and like at the beginning is just it's difficult. So a lot of the pieces that are in there um, are gonna take a while to uh, smooth out and whatnot. And especially because it's um, for playing the game on the server. Uh, that can be difficult for me to test. So especially just like like I was saying, like uh, I think I was saying about a week ago, we we actually didn't have a lot of sounds triggering on the server. So and especially with you know the previous version of Eco, there weren't a lot of sounds. Like a lot of things were simply missing. And so you one gets used to that style, and then when everything makes sound, it's just like oh my god, there's so many sounds. So it's also expectation uh, as things change over time as well. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, let's go here. Uh, <laughs> yes, the the rocks are listening to physics. That's true. Cool. I'm glad you like the music. That's awesome. Uh, do, do, do. Yes, unfortunately, as far as the uh, release date on the point nine, uh, there is no date. And the main reason for that is because we would much rather make it awesome than to say that we're going to hit a date and just shove something out there. And that's, I hope you can see that uh, that's not what we're doing, is that we're really wanting to do things right and spend the time and make them like super solid and add a lot of great features in there, but at the same time make things stable. And we've been doing a lot of work with optimization on all different fronts, including audio, to make it so that the the experience itself is a lot more um, you know, robust and so that it's funner to play and less frustrating. So yeah, we're I can't unfortunately give you a set date for that. And thanks for asking because it shows that you're interested in, you know, when is it coming out? <laughs> so yeah, we're we're doing what we can. We really are. We're working very hard. We have a great team. So yeah. Um ba -ba -ba. yes. Okay. Da -da -da. Will the balance and the music be the same for all players on the server or unique to individual players? Well, um, what you can do in your settings for your game is actually just uh, change the music level if you want to. So this is something that a lot of people do. Um, and that's another thing is that I try not, currently I try not to overplay the music. So it's not like a wall of music that plays all the time. And so you can change those uh, settings. The like the if you want to get rid of the sound effects, you can do that. You can get rid of the UI sound effects. So there's a slider for that. And also same thing for the music. And one thing that I would like to do in the future, there's once again, I'm not going to try and cram it in and not do it right for the point nine, but also have it when people are doing chat, to not just have that as a separate layer, but to actually have that integrated into the mix so that people will leave 
the audio on instead of just like, oh, I'm just going to mute all the audio and just like, you know, listen to the chat and put like, you know, whatever, like, um, let's say Bandcamp on or whatever your streaming audio service of choice is because I want to have the audio inform the player, but um, I realize that with the scale of time of playing this game, listening to the audio is a real challenge. And yeah, I understand. I totally have no problem about people just going like, yeah, I'd rather just, you know, all the information that I need is from the UI and from the visuals. And so I don't need to actually have, you know, the, a lot of the sound effects. And I'd rather just listen to my own music because I don't want to listen to like all this looping stuff over and over again. So yeah, we're, we're figuring out ways to do that. And we might not necessarily hit that with point nine, but it is being considered, definitely. Um, open beta, yeah. Do 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 do. Um, yeah, I think we're getting close to that. I don't know exactly, so that would be something that you could ask uh, the devs on on the uh, Discord to see about open beta stuff for point nine. And yes, uh, that's a good question by Victor here. The sound of things drive animals away from it. I would really like to do that because within WISE, you can actually um, uh, do subgroup mixes. So you can take uh, categories of sound and have that where you can actually find out what the instantaneous like you know level of that is, like what the loudness is. And that would be great because I find that when I'm playing eco, a lot of the times I'm hunting, <laughs> you know, like I'm with my bow and arrow and stuff. And hopefully you've also heard like when, well, I guess you can't hear because it's, <laughs> it's not out yet. But what I've done with point nine is make it so that when you're holding the bow, you know, and it's taut, that it'll actually like creak a little bit you know, as you're, as you're holding it, because there, it's meant to give you a sense of tension, but then also not be super annoying. But yeah, like the sound of um, what you do should, and also what other animals do and predators do, uh, should influence the, um, the animals. But once again, that's, uh, that, that is something that is not in point nine, but I'll, I'll tell you what is in point nine is that we worked a lot on uh, the sound of weight, the, like when you're moving through things. So with that, um, you get a, um, basically you get the different sounds depending on how big the animal is. So if it's a small sound, small animal, you'll get like a little rustling sound. And then if it's a big bison or something like that, then you'll get like a different sound. And uh, yeah, that, I thought that that was pretty interesting because then now you can sort of more so like in the hunting sense, like locate where sort of bigger things are, even if they're not, you can't see them because they're like moving in brush just sort of over a hill-ish, you know, like, well, over <laughs> like behind some brush or something like that, but they're still nearby. And then also there is a whole bunch of like animal sounds that have been added for, you know, whatever, alligators and predators and stuff like that. So they'll make, they actually make pretty shockingly <laughs> like, you know, scary sounds right now so if you get attacked by a wolf or something it'll make a sound um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll pull up my wise session and then I can show you some of those sounds how they exist like sort of behind the scenes uh, for the game okay do 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 um, so that yeah that's a great question um, can we pick tracks yes that is something that uh, it definitely won't happen for the next version um, we're still uh, i've spent a lot of time just getting you know the music uh the new music to fit the world of eco and then we'll look at other things like um you know it's just simply more complex to try and figure out playlists and ways to weave in your own music but that is possible um do 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 all right okay yes alligators oh thanks all right so what i'll do is um ba -ba -ba -ba. let me just quickly have a look here make sure that uh i've hit all the things and my sort of uh things i was going to talk about <clears throat> sorry i'm a little thirsty here so yeah, I've basically been working with uh, Strange Loop for about, I mean, I started in 2011, and it's been, it's been good times.
Do, do, do. Yeah, and then it basically goes into videos. Okay, all that stuff's good. There's that. And okay, cool. Let me just check. Yeah, we're good there as well. I got no no messages there. Okay, and then back to checkout so that I can have a look. Oh, okay. Okay, this is a great question. Yes, with point nine, can you buy the new soundtracks? And well, um, we're working on it. <laughs> so um, it's been a slow process because I, I really want to get stuff ready for the game first. But yes, I would like for that to happen so that, uh, yeah, depending on um, what is, you know, what's basically doable on the licensing and ownership side. Unfortunately, music stuff can be very complicated, but I'll do what I can. Um, I have uh, personally, with my own stuff, released several soundtracks. Um, I worked on uh, music, I do chiptune stuff. Uh, I also compose regular stuff as well, but I do chiptune music, and the last game that I worked on uh, really for a lot of music was uh, Retro City Rampage, and with that, I was the person that put out the whole soundtrack, uh, both on vinyl. Uh, don't please don't ask me for a vinyl release for Eco, <laughs> but put out it, uh, the soundtrack on vinyl and then also on Bandcamp and CD. So probably what will happen with Eco is that we'll basically talk to the rest of the devs and find out where um, sort of the all the music stuff sits. And a lot of it is driven by interest. So if you are interested in the music for um, you know. Point nine, then please join the Discord and be vocal there, uh, because the th the thing is that it takes time and money, and if there's not enough interest, then uh, we'll simply have to focus on other things. And so I would like for it to happen. I think the music's great. Uh, Phil's done a great job, and um, it would be great. It'd be very nice to be able to listen to that uh, separate of the game if you'd like, and also it. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's the thing is that it would just be nice for the music to exist on its own as well. All right. So um, I haven't a uh, link to the Discord. Okay. Let me go up here. Uh, I did post it a while ago, but okay. There we go. I'll copy it from here. Okay. Uh, Discord link. Uh, smiley face and then there we go hopefully you can see that all good okay cool all right so um here we go whoopsies let's uh go here no 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 no, no. i don't want to do that i want to go what no 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 sorry there must be a better way of doing this okay what i'm gonna do is i gotta uh, da, 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 da. I guess if you're more um, used to doing streaming, you have all your stuff all perfectly organized. But it's, I'm used to using the whole screen. So here we go. Um, do, 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 staging. And then, do, okay, content. There we go. And clickety clack. Okay. Oh boy, there we go. There's Wise booting up. Um, okay, and there we are. And I'm going to cram that in the top corner. All right. Okay, so this here is really like looking under the hood of what's going on in the audio for uh, point nine. And Wise is literally that. It's like it's like a sound engine that allows me to quickly put sounds into the game and then modulate them from parameters from the game, all right? So if we look here, uh, the way that I've um, decided to break things up for the audio is to have a very small number of events. So here's the events. I've got like, you know, test stuff there. But if we wanted to make, you know, sort of animal sounds, what I can do is that I can choose that event and then from there, I sort of have these different, uh, you know, like ways of selecting a specific sound. So, uh, yeah, sure, let's try uh, alligator. And then sometimes, yeah, the material type in this case doesn't matter. But um, 
I actually have no, let's have an alligator attack. How's that? Once again, if you've got headphones on, please be careful because I do not know how loud this is gonna be. So I apologize ahead of time. So let's see here. Yeah, yeah, so there is an alligator attack. Rawr. Okay, uh, here's another one. Right? Yeah, so you get the idea there. And then if you got attacked by something else, say like a coyote, it'd be like this. Yeah. Okay, something like that. Okay, so this allows me to, yeah, basically uh, make kind of like a massive, it's, it's sort of audio spreadsheet, virtual kind of thing to cover all the sounds in the game. So yeah, it's all done through here. Um, and yeah, it, it, uh, there is a lot of, lot of details here as far as what I can do with the audio. And uh, so let's see here. Do, 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 do. Let's see, what shall we look at? Maybe I'll ask you, uh, what sound would you like for me to pick out of here? If, uh, I'm not gonna play the meter to destroy one, that one's, that one's pretty loud. <laughs> uh, I could, another thing I could do is actually just look, um, do, do, do. I can show you how the stuff is in, you know, like if I have the cityscape stuff here, uh, that would be like the wind. You know, like I showed you at the beginning here, it is tri triggered live, right? Yeah. So that's sort of, I wanted to balance that. Yeah, like having the city on one side and the, you know, trees and stuff on the other side. So I've always sort of considered that as a design sort of standpoint for my audio when working with Eco, is that it really is sort of balancing those two things. So, yeah. D D D D D. Okay, uh, crafting stuff. Um, oh, one of the ones that I like, if we do, I think it's under tools actually. Um, tool, and I guess you won't be able to see all of these things here, but uh, yeah, we've got uh, material type, mm, all sorts of different things. You know, th these are like we, I have to cover all of these different things with different possibilities, right? So that it ends up being a lot of stuff. So um, let's see here. Fertilizer bag, uh, fishing lure, hammer. So yeah, there we go. Hammer on, on iron hammer. Sure, let's try that. Hit, and then I don't think barrel's gonna make much of a difference. Right, so there you go. And I recorded that, you know, not that difficult. But let's see here. Uh, the land claim one is kind of interesting. That one's all animated and whatnot, so it sort of does a dunk, 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 that sort of, you know, against wood sound as you plow it into the ground. And uh, yeah, it's pretty satisfying in the game now. Um, do, 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 sawmill. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. That's a great question. Thanks for that. Um, I'll have a look at, um, oof, I guess I'm supposed to keep this to an hour or something. Is that right? I don't know. Uh, how long are most of the other ones? I think they're probably an hour. Probably that's good. So I've got a few more minutes. Um, where would that be? That would be under mm, crafting, I guess, to try and find the sawmill. Ah, uh, bakery oven, blast furnace, uh, butchery table, all these guys, cement kiln, oh boy, I don't know. Uh, what is it called, sawmill? Uh, sawmill. And then I guess we wanna turn it on and we wanna have it um, uh, working. So let's see, I, I uh, there are so many sounds in the game that I'm not exactly sure if it's uh, to cover it or not. So, oh yeah, so there we go, we have a sawmill. So uh, I hope that helps. <laughs> and so it, it should should be in the game. And then if we turn it off, you know, makes it sound like there's a little piece of wood that's being finished up there. So yeah. <laughs> Why am I getting a, I've re reached a hundred messages with restream chat. Is that a good thing or is it cutting me off? <laughs> so I'm glad I'm glad that you like the uh, <laughs> the, the sawmill. Cool, awesome. 
any other questions for sound requests, I guess? <laughs> it's kind of like being like a, a um, how do you say, a piano bar kind of player, except for sound effects. So yeah, uh, I'm, accept I, I'm accepting requests right now. <laughs> All right. Oh, I could also show you some more music too. How's that? Let's. Uh, so I'll put play some music in the meantime. So music, and click on that. Do, do, do. Okay, RTPCs. Um, well, what I should do is actually select those directly. So instead of using events, I'm going to go in here, and uh, there's lots of different uh, different music here. Mm, so there's desert stuff. Okay, so it's a little quiet at the beginning. Um, I think I need to change the view here. Do 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 layouts, interactive music. There we go. See, there's our four layers, right? And I even made them all pretty, like you know, with different colors. All right. So you hear that theme? That, and here it comes again, right? With the banjo. And so that's something that the composer has worked into a lot of the new music. So it's kind of like, you know, um, it's a it's a musical theme similar to like the theme of the force you know in star wars and stuff like that it's like a you know it's a theme so like a leitmotif as we say in music but uh yeah the idea was to really give a little you know flavor uh for making it sound so that it's like you understand that it's it's actually eco music so that that little ba -do -ba -dum, ba -do -ba -dum is woven into a lot of the songs, a lot of the new songs. So let's see here. Uh, let's try playing oh, do, do the sunset one. Sure, let's try sunset. I like this one. OK. And we hit play. OK. OK, you hear that again? The theme again, right? OK. In case you missed it, I'll play it again from the top. Ba -do -ba -doom, ba -do -ba -do -doom, doom. But it's slower, right? Pretty cool, huh? This one's quite ambient. All right. So probably what I'll do is uh, I'll just leave it at that. Um, I guess to continue the discussion, um, probably the best, once again, is to join the Discord. Um, if you have other questions besides, what, what other ways can one get a hold of me? Um, I mean, the Discord is probably the best. And now that we actually have the music and the sound working in like point 0.9, because honestly, there's been a lot of uh, issues because we've had, uh, we've put in, like I was saying, like thousands of like new assets and, and really rebuilt the audio from the ground up because it was using the audio, or so the Unity engine before, and now it uses the Wise uh, engine. And so a lot of our work has simply been functional. It's sort of like, you know, we started with like, um, you know, it's like more of a prototype audio. A lot of the audio, when it triggered, it was always the same uh, sound. So you go dunk, 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 and it's exactly the same sound, which is, you know, okay for the short term, but when you wanna have things sound more realistic, you wanna have variations. And so to add like 10 variations to that means that you actually have to recreate the sound. You can't just use the existing one. You've got to like, you know, start over again. And so that process has taken a lot of time in, in conjunction with um, just there's, <laughs> there's so many things being added to the game. <laughs> so 
like the sawmill was a great example. There is just like so many things that got added um, over time that it can be, it might seem like, it's just like, yeah, can you just please make a sound for that? Like there's like nothing happening. It's like, well, it, it, there are a hundred of other things as well that need to be uh, worked on as well. So I uh, really appreciate the patience that you've had while we've been working on this because it's, uh, it is a massive project. Like Eco is a sort of, it's an independent game, but it's sort of like a triple I uh, kind of, uh, you know, sort of situation. So yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those things that it we are learning as well and we're doing our best i mean i've been yeah like i said i've been doing like games since like 94 so i've been doing it for a while but part of the reason i still like doing it is because there's always new things to learn right so um and eco is a great game to work on because the just the concept and the vibe behind it is great like we really do need to consider the environment and how our modern society uh, impacts it. So yeah, I'll say that as kind of a closing thing. And yeah, this uh, stream will be archived. So if you um, you know want to ask questions, please do so on the Discord. So you can join that up. Hopefully there'll be a link, but if not, um, just go to discord.com slash invite slash eco, and then you can get on the Discord and ask more questions. You can also look me up on Twitter. I'm at Video Game Audio. Um, you can also look up my website. I'm at videogameaudio.com, so fairly standard. So yeah, thanks. My name is Leonard Paul, and uh, you know, thanks for joining. So I'm gonna sign off now. <laughs> thanks again. Okay, bye bye.